morning. So it's day day three, if we include travel day. Um, we're just heading to breakfast. The weather outside doesn't look great, but we've got some plans for today. So we'd like to head to the Royal Botanical Gardens. Um, and we've also booked to go to a cat cafe. Uh, I'd also like to revisit um, Forbidden Planet and pick up a few other bits. Maybe we can have a mystery mini to unbox tonight. And also probably do some swimming in the hotel gym. So yeah, we'll take you guys along. So another nice thing I've just, just had is the breakfast team has just given us the these two love hearts celebrate your Valentine's Day. So that's nice. So Abby's just gone to get her breakfast and I'll go up after her. So this morning I must not overeat. I must not overeat. I must not eat as much as I did yesterday. So I'm just gonna have one of everything this time and probably skip the croissants. Okay. That looks a lot calmer than yesterday. <laughs> so get through that and then we'll get ready. On the other hand, yeah, so my breakfast looks calmer than yesterday. On the other hand, what is going on with this? I can't see any meat anywhere at all. It's madness. Madness. Bang, and the food is gone. That was really nice. I really enjoyed the egg. Um, that was a really nice egg. So yesterday was a bit runnier, but today was just perfect. Okay, so we've had breakfast. We're gonna head off into town. We're gonna try and find the Purple Cat Cafe. And once we've done that, we'll probably look around for a little shopping while we wait for our reservation. Um, I'm probably not gonna film between because it's pretty wet. Hence the, the slightly thicker coat today. So yeah, we'll see you guys at the cafe hopefully. When you come across not one, but two stores that strike your interest, might as well check them out. Might buy this, not gonna lie. Yeah. Hey there, so we found the cat cafe. Funnily enough, it's not far from A1 Toys. So because we're about 40 minutes early, we've taken shelter in here for a little bit. We're going to head to a board game shop next to have a look in there. It is very wet. And Abby and I are pretty much soaked through already. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so we just nipped into Primark to grab Abby some new shoes. Because our old ones were kind of wearing a bit thin. And we're just heading back to Cat Cafe now, so... Cutting it a little close, we're probably going to be getting there just at 12.30, uh, which is the start of our reservation. Okay, so we made it just in the nick of time, um, just as our, our um, group was being called in, or our time slot rather. So. We're in the cat cafe. We've seen cats, which would 
be expected. So we're just having a look at the menu. Um, there are vegan options for any um, vegan or vegetarians who wish to come here. Um, so I'll tell you what, if I show you the menu. It is also listed online, but there can be specials every now and again. Now I'm thinking of having that ultimate cheese and ham toasty. Yes, we've got napkins on the box. Did you not notice the, yeah. the sleepy baby? Yeah. I have to make sure I'm not too loud because I don't want to wake, wake up the, the sleeping cat because you've got to give them that space. Considering the music. I'm just going to go play with the cats. I think Abby's trying to bait a cat. Oh, he is watching that. Oh, he's going for it. Nope, he's just going straight for it. <laughs> We've had a little play with the cats. Food's arrived, so we've washed our hands. Now we're going to chuck into this ultimate cheese and ham toasty, which looks very tasty. So yeah, this is going well. It's a good Valentine's Day. Good Valentine's Day treat. Go to a cat cafe with your girlfriend. Hides his head behind the bag. You're way too scared. That's the face I make when I fall asleep. <laughs> he is majestic in his floofiness. So Abby's ordered a slice of the mint arrow cake, which I'm hoping she'll let me try some.
Okay, so spot the Easter egg. We actually just double checked on this. And amongst all the cat decorations, there's the, the hole in the wall from Doctor Who. And that's confirmed by them. It's not just me saying that, I promise. Okay, so we just came out of the cat cafe. Really nice. Again, you're probably gonna get annoyed at me saying, everywhere's really nice. So yeah, we've had a nice time. A lot of the cats were sleeping. So I'd say if you're in the 12.30 slot, expect the cats to be a bit a bit more docile. They, they weren't very active, but there are a few ro strolling around that you can play with. And if you're so, able to get a sofa, that's probably your best chance of getting a cat to sit with you and sleep with you. Yeah. Yes, we did see some people and the cat basically just like lay down between them and fell asleep. And it was adorable. Um, I don't know if I've got footage of that. If I do, I'll put it in the in the roll up. So yeah, so we had the um, ham and cheese toasties. They were very nice. Abby had a um, slice of aero cake as well, um, which she very kindly shared with me. So yeah, that was a, it was a nice lunch, a much, much um, tamer lunch than perhaps some of the ones we've had more recently. I did realize I messed up. The botanical gardens or the botanic gardens um, are not in the direction I thought they were. So rather than being quite close to here, they are actually completely the other side of Glasgow and our hotel. So that may be one for another time. So we're gonna wander around, we'll think about what we're gonna do and yeah, take you guys along for the ride. So we had a look around the cathedral. Um, we we're just trying to figure out what to do next. Um, so yeah, just follow us as we potter around Glasgow. Okay, so the rain came back in force. We've taken shelter in the art gallery. I need to dry off my glasses.
Okay, so we've just finished in the gallery. I'll include a couple of bits that I recorded in there. I, I didn't want to record too much because being gallery, obviously they want people to go in and have a look around. But there are a few bits that caught my eye and it's like, you know, some of it was funny, too funny not to, like the kids' pictures at the end, or if that was an exhibit, um, then the artist did a very good job of making it look like kids' pictures. There's some of it's like, that's how I used to draw. But I just thought it was funny, it's like you had the um, little green man from Toy Story someone drew, and then like the frog from the memes. But anyway, so we're going to continue on to the shops now, I think. Is that right, Abby? Yeah. And I want to go back to Tokyo Toys and pick up that My Hero Academia outfit because I think that's too good to pass up on. And probably back to Forbidden Planet to pick up some mystery minis. A mystery mini. Some mystery minis. We'll see. Um, we, will, we will see. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so first up, we've got Forbidden Planet, because it was much closer than uh, Tokyo Toys is at the moment. So we'll head in and have a look around and see what we want. Okay, so we just finished in Forbidden Planet. Um, I picked up a Marvel Legends figure of Forge from the X-Men, um, which was reduced to $9.99. And we picked up another Star Wars Mystery Mini, which we realised they have two different sets. One's got a Resistance BB unit, a Unmasked Kylo Ren, and a Praetorian Guard as their exclusives, whereas the other has Holographic Snoke, Praetorian Guard, and Kai Frenali, the pilot. So... We went for the one that might have the resistance BB unit or the Kylo Ren. Okay, so we just sat down to, to do some research. So we're going to go souvenir shopping now for family members. Um, so we've got a couple of ideas in mind. Hopefully people like what we're thinking of getting them. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Love you guys. Okay, so pausing the souvenir shop for a second because we actually just ran to the same street where Tokyo Toys is, but almost by accident. So, yeah, we're just going to nip in there, have a look at that My Hero Academia outfit again, and then we'll resume the, the hunt for souvenirs for people. Okay, so we managed to get the My Hero Academia outfit. So we're heading back out on the hunt for the souvenirs. So, fingers crossed. I've had a chat with my mum, bless her, and um, she said all she really wants is a tea towel. So we will try and find that. You don't recognize this street at all, it's a lie. We haven't just walked in a giant circle. This is a completely different street and not the one Forbidden Planet's on. So, okay, to be fair, we had an idea. We saw a shop earlier that might have some of the souvenir bits that we want. And we didn't think about it at the time because we were thinking of something else. But that idea kind of went flat. So, but then we were brainstorming and we were like, actually, yeah, you know what? That might be the place to, to go to have a look. So we're going to try that and see what we get. Success! We managed to get the first um, first thing. So that's one down. Oh, so many to go. But we'll get there. And we'll take you guys along with us. We've got another success. We've got some chocolate for the rest of my family. So that is taken care of souvenir shopping wise for, for me. Um, we did run into some friends of ours who were going to the event. Unfortunately, I was on the phone at the time, so I couldn't talk to them. And I was trying to wrap up the call. And they were like, oh yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. So, unfortunately, they walked off by the time I wrapped up the call. Um, but we'll, we'll see them tomorrow, so that'll be fine. So, we're just having a wander around now, and we'll see where it takes us. Okay, so we're back in the room. 
unfortunately, it started raining again and got very windy, so we decided to come back here and just recover. Um, we'd basically finished what we wanted to do in town anyway, so, but I didn't record any of the way back because we were rushing to try and get through the rain. You would have literally just had a rain splattered screen to look at. Um, so we came back, we came up to our room on the 17th floor, and the key cards didn't work. And the reason for that is we split our booking because originally we didn't know whether we'd be com coming for CupaCon and then spending a few days in um, Glasgow or whether we'd be coming down before CupaCon and then, yeah. So obviously the latter was the case and we came down before CupaCon. Um, so came up to the 17th floor, key cards didn't work, went back downstairs and checked in at reception and they, they just reactivated them and um, yeah, it was all fine. However, um, on the way back down, we shared a lift with one of the voice actors, um, John Bentley, who voices Barrett in Final Fantasy VII Remake. And he, he had a little bit of, of fun with us um, because another cup of contendee got, came into the elevator. He tapped them on the shoulder furthest away from them. So obviously they turned around to look. And of course I'm standing there in the corner. Um, and of course he goes like, oh, I, that, that, it was that guy. And it's like, wasn't me. And it, it was all really funny. But I think the funniest part of this is at both Kupacons, Abby and I have attended now, we have both run into one of the voice actors in the elevator because we ran into Noctis's voice actor at Pomex in London. So both Pomex and Freepom, we've run into a voice actor in the lift, which is amazing luck. Um, but yeah, and both times the voice actors have been really friendly because I know some actors can get a bit funny and they want to be separate from fans. But both times we've met them, they've been very open and very nice. So yay, two thumbs up. So yeah, so back at the room, we're going to recuperate. Then we'll probably figure out what we're doing for dinner and head to that. So in the meantime, we'll see you guys later. Okay, so we've made up our minds on where we're going for dinner. Um, we're pretty tired, so I think we're going to do that. Come back, depending on the time, we might try going for a swim, but I think it's going to be a bit late. Okay, so we've just left the hotel. We've run into some friends of ours in the lobby. Um, this time I wasn't on my phone, so I got to actually talk. Um, so we're going to try and meet up with them for breakfast tomorrow at 8 o'clock-ish. And yeah, see how that goes. So hopefully uh, I'll get to introduce you guys to them tomorrow. So we've had a quick catch up. Um, yeah, so we're going to head off to Marbles now, I think is where we're having dinner. Um, it's still a bit windy, but at least it's not um, raining right now. So we're going to try and double time it there. And I'll show you guys what we get. So we've just been seated at Marbles. It's it's a lot bigger on the inside. It's outside. It's um it's like a it's one doorway, single staircase um, like in the video. But downstairs it is huge. It must go under several of the buildings going along. So yeah, it's, it smells delicious. Um, I won't take the camera around the buffet, but I'll show you what I bring back. So I've got my first plate. We've got some honey. Honey pork, we've got some um, satay chicken, some chicken skewers, some potato wedges, garlic bread, crab claw, pepperoni pizza. Um, garlic and onion prawn. Garlic and onion prawn, I'm glad Abby, Abby remembered it. We've also got some rice there with some seafood in it. So yeah, I'm going to eat that and then I'll go for another plate and I'll try and grab some different stuff. That was actually really tasty. Um, I'm going to try and make sure I don't grab anything the same on the second go. Although on that note, I think I will grab some of those garlic and olive, 
garlic and onion ones again because those were very tasty. Um, but I'll try and get some other different stuff. So no pizza. Um, damn, that stuff was so tasty. It's like I shouldn't grab seconds of anything, but I really want to. So yeah, we'll just see what happens. Okay, plate two. So we've got the crab claw again, the prawns. Um, I got a few things different though. So we've got some egg fried rice this time. We've got some noodles. There is some honey chicken, some roast duck. Abby's just giving me a bit of garlic bread and a very long chicken ball. So yeah, see how that goes. Again, that was very nice. I actually forgot I got a salt and pepper prawn as well, but I tend to deshell them. I don't know. If, I don't know if you're meant to do that. If someone can point that out in the comments below, that would be great. But yeah, it was a good plate. Um, I'm debating whether to get a third plate of main course or to start on the dessert. I hmm. you can tell my diet is well and truly over for this whole day. Um, not that it lasted. Yeah, I should probably just go for the dessert now rather than go for more main bath. So those prawns were very nice and very tempting to go back for more. Yeah. Okay, so dessert plate one. I, I'm going to be honest, there may have been a third plate of main course. It was just a kind of greatest hits of the first two plates though, so I didn't bother to film it. And also I felt rather fat for eating it. He says showing you this dessert plate covered in chocolate and different cheesecakey things. So we've got a chocolate cake, an eclair, a brownie, uh, which looks like um, caramel cheesecake. Something covered in what looks like Oreo filling. Yeah. I'm sure these are all going to be tasty. I don't even need to. I haven't even tried it yet and I know that. We'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, hear me out. I can explain. So, the profiterole with like the Oreo coating and the brownie were facing my MVPs for the first plate and walking by I was just like, I really want another, I can't let it go. So I didn't. And then it was kind of scoop your own ice cream, so I've got two, um, two mint choc chip um, ice cream spheres, which I then put some of the Servia own kind of chocolate from the chocolate fountain on. And Abby, Abby's asked if I will share one considering this does not count as small. And I will, because I'm a nice guy like that. And it's Valentine's Day. So these are for sharing. But those are mine. Hmm. Okay. No more. No more, Luke. No more. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I, the dessert wasn't perfect, but for someone who's been on a diet and not had chocolate, it was very nice and a very nice selection. On that note, I think we'll see you guys back at the hotel. So that was very nice. I, I love the decor in there. It was brilliant. Obviously, Abby points out that it's obviously going for a theme considering it's called marbles and you have like the marble paneled walls. But no, it was very nice. The staff were very friendly. We're not sure if we got the drinks for free because it was $15.99 each for the buffet meal for dinner. And Lamborghini. another one okay that's strange but yeah so we're not sure if we got the the drinks for free because it was 15.99 each for the meal for the buffet we had two refillable soft drinks 
but we didn't get charged anything extra on the bill. And we've only just realised it walking away. Um, so, if we got the drinks for free, or if they were included, that's lovely. If they something to do with their uncorked bosses, so they can't sell alcohol. Maybe they also can't technically sell soft drinks. Sorry. So it just comes included. Maybe. So that was the other thing is they don't sell alcohol. Um, but you can obviously bring your own and they can uncork it. Yeah, so that's the thing. So yeah, we're going to head back to the hotel, do an unboxing video and see how it goes. Come on, BB unit of the resistance. So we're back at the hotel. We'll just go check to see if any friends are in the lobby and then we'll head upstairs and do that unboxing. So, does this mean that CooperCon has officially begun? Who knows? And so concludes the third day on our road to, to CooperCon. So, I think from what we could see in the lobby downstairs, CooperCon is pretty much started now. So I think it starts at 10 o'clock tomorrow with check-ins from 9.15, but we'll we'll see how that goes. If anything I've learned doing these vlogs is most of what I say is rubbish because it either doesn't happen or I've not done the proper research. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, for the, In the meantime, unboxing, yay. So I think we need a few rules. First of all, if it's another ray, I have to give it away. So that's if it's another ray. The likelihood of that, mm, I wouldn't say it's super high. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Wait, really? Exclusive guys, one in 12? Cool. Okay, so we'll get this, get this open. So we want preferably someone from the resistance because good guys are good. Um, so, what do we got? I have no idea what that is. Um, it feels orb-ish. <gasps> what if it's a pork? No, it's not pork. Um, it is a Praetorian Guard, without a base. Which one is he? Oh, he is the exclusive one though, one in 36. Where's the base? Okay, so he didn't come with a base, which is a little bit disappointing, because I had hoped to slot him next to the other guys I've got. Um, Arguably, I could probably get some cheap from somewhere and I could give him their base because they all have the same one because it's just a hexagonal one with the Star Wars printed on it. But yeah, so that's not bad. So 1 in 36. Wait. Ah, the only other figure that had that is as rare as this guy is the Porg. <laughs> but yeah, so I think we did pretty well there and he's pretty neat. Let's so just show him to the camera. So that's the Praetorian Guard with the kind of electro whip thing. So we've got our Praetorian Guard. We've got, I think, a nice conclusion to the day, other than the, the missing base. But yeah, I think we're, we're good to end there. So we're going to retire now. Abby's got a little bit of cosplay work to do. And I will probably just fall asleep as soon as my head touches the pillow. So until tomorrow... So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. You really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. And if you've got any advice for making travel logs or any comments about the video, video in general, just leave it in the comments below. And until tomorrow, or until next time for you guys, stay happy. <laughs>